Hey guys, it's Andrea and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be doing my December bullet journal setup. First of all, I know that it's been a while since I last posted. The last video I posted was my October plan with me. And that's just because school has been extremely busy lately. I actually filled my November plan with me, but I never got time to edit it. But I'm finally back. And the winter break is also here, so hopefully I will have time to pre-film some videos so I have more content to post over the next few months. But anyways, I'm super happy to be back and filming again. For this month, I wanted to go for a more abstract theme and I also really wanted to use my Archer and Oliva Acrylograph pens. And I decided to go for this winter color palette but do like abstract shapes with leaves. I don't really know how to explain this theme and honestly I didn't have a really clear idea when I was doing it, but I think it turned out pretty well. I actually really liked it and had a lot of fun creating it. It's definitely much different from all of my previous themes. And yeah, right now I'm just using my acrylograph pens to draw some different abstract shapes all over the page and I'm finally adding some leaves. drawing the first shapes and leaves I felt like it looked kind of empty so I decided to draw some more smaller leaves and also I added some white dots over the darker shapes and I think it sort of helps with the winter vibe sort of like snow and of course as I usually do when I have some empty space in my journal I just went over with my gray my liner and added some gray dots on the other side of the page I am making my quote page and the quote that I chose for this month is, but if you never try, you'll never know. And right now I'm just using my Tembo Fudenosuke soft tip brush pen to write the lettering. And this one's, and also the hard tip one, is one of my favorite brush pens ever. It's just so versatile and it helps to create lots of beautiful lettering pieces. about creating this theme is that I got to use my Archer and Oliva Acrylograph pens, which for some reason I don't use as often as I should, but I definitely will be using them more from now on. But it was just really fun and satisfying to just color in all of the shapes and get creative with the layering and everything. I just really recommend this pens if you're looking to get into paint pens, they have lots of pretty colors. And if you're interested in trying them out, I do have a discount link in the description down below. And while I just keep drawing some more leaps and shapes, I want to talk about some other things that I plan to do with this channel. I've been thinking about creating like study vlogs and student related tips and content since it is what I'm doing most of the time. And let me know in the comments if that's something you'd be interested in seeing. Of course, I'll still be posting my bullet journal content as it's kind of one of my favorite things to do. I'm actually really excited to post my 2021 bullet journal setup and have so many exciting videos planned. I just need some time to film them. But yeah, let me know if you'd like to see some student-related content. And now I'm just making my monthly spread and again I'm using my acrylograph pens to draw some shapes all over the page. And it was actually really relaxing to do a more abstract theme as I didn't really think a lot about what I was doing. It requires a lot less effort than some of my previous teams that required more doodling and everything. 
and it was honestly really fun to switch it up for a while. Now I'm just leathering toward December and drawing some more shapes. Okay, this voiceover is probably a lot more chatty than usual because usually I just like narrate what I'm doing on this spread and I don't know, I just feel like talking about this year. <laughs> it was definitely a weird year for lots of us, well, all of us really, <laughs> but I feel like my perception of time was just like so off. I'm just editing this and thinking about how weird it is that it's already December and I feel like this year went by so slowly but yet so quickly. I feel like it was just a few weeks ago when I was just starting my channel when actually it was so long ago. And I don't know, anyone else has this feeling? <laughs> So now I'm just finishing up making the boxes for each of the days and I'm using the same color palette that I've used for the whole setup. And as you may have noticed for this video, I switch up my filming style a little bit. I usually just film my videos from the top, but I'm trying out some new different angles for this one. So let me know what you think, if you like this style or just filming from the top. I don't know, it was actually pretty fun to experiment with new angles. But i definitely love to know what you think. So after I finished making all of the boxes, I just added some more dots all over the page. And next I'm just gonna write the dates with a black fine liner. And the next spread that I'll be making is a content planner, which I honestly need so much right now because November was just a mess for my posting schedule, not just in here that I didn't post everything, but also on my Instagram, which by the way you can find linked down below. I usually post every two days, but everything was just a mess. So I really need this to get back on track with my posting and hopefully by the end of the month it will be full of posts that I made on my social media platforms. And for this spread my focus was on functionality rather than the whole aesthetics of it, so I just made a simple chart where I write the date, the post, if I have already filmed it or took the picture, and also edited and drafted it. The last spread that I'll be making for this video is my habit tracker. I usually always film my first weekly spread while I'm filming my monthly setup, but for this month I want to try out making a video where I just include all of my weeklies in the different formats that you can use to make a weekly spread, and hopefully that video will be up next week. While I was making this box, I made a small mistake right there, but it's okay to make mistakes in our bullet journals, take this as your reminder that it's fine to make mistakes and you can always just leave it like that or try to fix it, which is what I did in this video. I actually used my white acrylograph to go over that part and I think it kind of helped <laughs> to make it look a little less weird. So I just kept drawing more shapes with my acrylographs and then I used the gray zebra my liner to highlight the different habits and add more gray dots all over the page. I actually realized that I do a lot of gray dots, like all of my previous themes have just had a lot of gray dots where I don't know what to do to fill out the space, so it's a great tip. If you have lots of blank space, then add some gray dots. <laughs>
that's it for this bullet journal setup. It was really fun to be filming and making voiceovers again. I really missed making more content aside from my usual Instagram posts. But hopefully I will be making lots of new videos that will be coming up soon. And yeah, I really hope that you liked this video. And if you did, be sure to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye!